Hey everyone, this is our second episode of our Black History Month project. Um, hope you, you enjoyed the one last week where we looked at Perpetua and Felicitas in regards to um, their martyrdom. Um, important to, to remember that these were some of the early Christian martyrs and Perpetua's account is one of the earliest accounts we have from, from any female, uh, any Christian female um, writing um, very much early on and the fact that they are of African descent um, for me it's important and it's vital that, that we, we recognise and we, we learn about um, these individuals and, and so this week we're, we're going to tie into what we looked at last week in regards to um, the martyrdom of Perpetua and Felicitas but it's important to recognise how that came about and so I want to introduce to you um, for those who may not know some people will already know about Septimus Severus. Now Septimus Severus was the first black Roman Caesar. He was an African Roman um, as much as Perpetua um, and um, Felicitas who were born in Carthage um, which was present-day Tunisia and so there was very much a, 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 an African Roman presence um, around the Roman Empire. Um, it, as, 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 as I mentioned last week, the way in how race um, and ethnicity was was kind of classified is not the same as how, how it is today. So as much as we would like to use the word diverse and that's kind of how it was. And so uh, Septimus Severus is known to be the first black Roman Caesar, known to be um, the first one who started this, um, the Severian um, dynasty because um, once he had passed um, his sons had succeeded him but we're going to look at um, Septimus Severus, Severus just, just for a short time um, and it's important to know that there's some key things and also how it also relates to, to what's here in Britain as well because he, he had also died um, in Britain as well but if we re recast and recall in regards to uh, the persecution that was happening during um, the, around the third, the third century and so Septimus Severus, um, like many other emperors, had um, issued an edict um, kind of trying to, to, to ban or to, to stop um, converts to Christianity and to Judaism. There was this idea that Christians and Jews were considered atheists. They didn't believe in the pantheon of gods. They only believed in the one God. And so um, because Christians and Jews were very reluctant to pay homage to the household gods and this idea of Caesar or emperor worship. So um, it was very much a case of, of, of trying to persecute or trying to uh, stop um, conversion to, to Christianity. And as much as Septimus Severus, who was an African Roman, who came to power, who was a military leader. Um, so there's this idea we can't romanticize that, um, you know, there was this kind of togetherness. There's always been this togetherness in regards to black people. Of course not. We know there's always been classisms and isms and schisms. And so here we have a black Roman emperor who is persecuting the church, if you will, um, where we find um, Perpetua and Felicitas and the others who, who, who have been um, succumbed to this persecution, not by Septimus Severus, himself by his hand but by governors and by people in power who are carrying out Septimus Severus um, wishes and so he's a military leader he he comes to power um, off, the back, off the back of the death of, of not just Marcus um, Aurelius but also um, his son Commodus and so there's some issues going on and so he manages to gain power through um, kind of avenging um, those who are close to him, their death, and then because he's a military leader, the army crown him as emperor, and then there's another emperor that's trying to gain power. Um, so Septimus kind of squashes that, and then he now builds up a reputation as being um, this, this, this fierce, as, as many other emperors, a fierce military leader. What's interesting is that he goes to Britain like many other emperors do, um, he's not the first to go to Britain, but he goes to um, fortify Britain because of the, the, these incursions and these rebellions 
coming from the north of, of Britain, namely what we would call present-day Scotland. So he goes to fortify Hadrian's Wall, the previous emperor, um, centuries ago, who built the wall, and he brings along with him, of course, many other Roman Africans as well. And, and so he, 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 he spends time there, he makes York his capital, and it is known that he is he, he's the only Roman emperor that we know of that has died in Britain. His remains didn't remain there. Um, his body, his, his sons carried his remains back to Rome. But it's important to know that here we have a black Roman emperor who in one hand has a hand in persecuting the church, but also we see um, this rich history with British history that he also comes to Britain. He names York his capital and he is, um, and he actually dies in on British soil as well. And so it's a fascinating story about, about Septimus Severus. And so as, as always, I encourage you to, to get to know more, more about Septimus, more about um, the dynasty, the legacy that he left after, and also um, continue to, to, to read and to watch and to research different aspects of, of black history. So I hope you've, you've gained from that, hope you've learned something uh, from that. And, and here, as I said, here we have, um, during this time period, here we have um, an African presence that is dominant within the Roman Empire, but is also having an effect um, within Christianity, but has also stamped its mark on British history as well. So absolutely fascinating stuff in regards to what we know and what we learn about Septimus Severus. So next week, um, we're going to look at the links um, that Septimus Severus' visit to Britain had on Britain as well, and also how that still ties in um, within Christianity as well, within the faith. So I hope you've enjoyed and, and make sure you, you watch out for the one next week. So take care.